Or you think I'm gonna throw that to you? <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> you gonna put it on fire too? Get it. Thank you. We found this Barbie laying in the ground over there. He don't want, he don't play with Barbie. <laughs> Throw it. Hey Tim, what are you doing? Taking this wastewater tank off the top of the pop up so we can get it ready to raise it. Where are we at? North Toledo Bend State Park. How long are we here for? Till Sunday. What's today? Thursday. It's a little bit cold. It's very cold. <laughs> Where are your heated supplies? In the Jeep. I work up sweat time I get this done. There's the view of the lake, guys. What did the right eye say to the left eye? I don't know. Between you and me, something stinks. The ball level. First thing I gotta do is screw this ball thread back so I can get that past this this side needs to go up so it goes under this side and it comes with a tool like this but I also have a ratchet that I can use but this works go ahead and get it in there I've got a football that I put over this piece of sticking out, so if you happen to bump into it, it don't bust your shin. Football bought at the Dollar Tree guys, and he just drilled a hole in it. Actually, it was one that had like a flare on the end, and he pulled that flare out, and it left a hole. Now we go check the level and see how level it is. As someone who does not know what this does. Does this level side to side? Yes. Okay. Which is pretty level for to start with. Basically, we're just using it to keep the trailer from rolling it because the side's pretty level. Okay. See, it has these built-in pads that the tire rests on. Mm -hmm. And that keeps the tire from rolling back or forward. So, basically... Does that lift side to side, going right to left, or back to back and front? Side to side. This 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 side of the camper up. But and does and then the front to back is done with your jack. Okay. But that's done. Okay. No, it's not done. Where's your football that you well, talked yeah, about? <laughs> And easy peasy like that and it keeps it from being something people want their shins on.
Well, it's Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Not even sure what time it is. Uh, probably about three, maybe. And we had rain move in. So let me show you the park. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is raining. But we do have some color here in Louisiana. This is a really pretty park. And we're set up right over there. You can see the pop-up camper. That's number site number 26. And I think you're better off if you to try to stay to the north of our camper in these other sites. We'll do some more of the loop when the weather's prettier tomorrow. But it's pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty park. This fall is a really pretty fall. See if I can find it a little bit better. There we go. Green little tin up there. That's us. And we can see down through the trees here. This is the portion of the lake that we are at. Toledo Bend. You can see the mist coming up in the background back there. I hear a boat on the water. And it goes on around. You can see more of the lake back up in there. But it's time to go fix our coffee. We just took Remy out for a quick walk, but we do have some pretty color. You see the cypress trees there, they're beautiful. Back to the camper. We decided to take a walk up the scenic overlook trail here. It's not a very long trail. It goes to a deck with a, a detached dock with a very beautiful view of Toledo Bend Lake. 
so we stepped out on the dock took a few photos checked the bank area out and then we turned around to come back to the jeep as we were walking back to the jeep ashley had been watching birds which meant she was looking up a lot and she spotted this huge nest up in one of the trees so uh she showed it to me pointed out where it was at and we decided that it was an eagle's nest and upon closer looking she said look there's the eagle so the eagle in all its majesty and pride was perched up there above its nest watching us walk back down the trail this is pretty amazing uh, unfortunately I do not have a good zoom lens and it's moments like these to where I kick myself for not going ahead and investing in one and I, hopefully I can do this soon but we did grab the best pictures we could and we have them shown here for y'all to see they may not be real clear but you can clearly see that there is an eagle perched above that nest so we walked up on the trails to the scenic overlook when it comes to this dock or this deck. North. This is day use area in North Toledo Bend State Park. This is the current day use area. They are expanding this and this eventually will be camping. Along here there will be camping and um, a beach and a sand pit if I'm reading this map over here correctly. But as you can see it says master plan so a lot of stuff is going to change at this park. And um, so far, they've done a lot of work in the area we are camping in, and it's very nice. Let's walk out on the tip of this. As you can see, the lake is beautiful, and of course, it's Toledo Bend, so it's huge. It's the, uh, what did we read? The largest Large man made lake? Reservoir. One of the largest in the country.
and there's these piers or docks whatever you want to call these all over this park you're gonna be able to make it down here. Mm -hmm. as you see all this concrete's new has a really nice boat ramp you can see the boat backing in over there plenty of parking I'm hoping this mic is baffling the wind because it's pretty windy down here There he is, and a deer up to here. Cypress trees are pretty. All the cypress knees, look at all the super cypress knees along the bank. Some of them are small, but a lot of cypress. And they're pretty in the fall. Pretty all the time, but see all the deer pants. Yep. This must be their watering hole. Or do you think they came come and fish off this deer? I don't know. Louisiana deer fish or not? I thought that was just some Texas deer. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And the water is so clear. Still a lot of lop. What do you call them? Lop lolly pine. But there are some hardwoods that still give it some color. And of course on this lake line, you're seeing cypress color. Look how clear that water is. Yeah, you can see to the bottom of the... <coughs> Real clear water. All right, well, I think we pretty much got most of the day use area.
Remy? Remy? Remy, come on. So, we haven't done our normal morning walk with the Remington. Normally, we get up, or I'd get up, while well, actually was getting ready, and me and him would walk down here to the lakeside and check things out. So we're gonna go ahead and, and go back down here. Now, we've already, in fact, we just got done doing a drive through of the park. And I hope that comes out, because I had to use another camera, because I've actually been having a little bit issue with this GoPro. But I think I've got it figured out now. And that's what I'm using now. So I thought I'd use it as we walk back down here. I've already taken some pictures down here. And they'll be in this video too. But this is just our normal routine. Our neighbors over here have already left. And our neighbors, they are leaving. And the ones that was in between them and us are already gone. So we're going to have this little point to ourselves. And the guy that's right next to us, a real nice guy, he uh, has some leftover firewood. So he offered it to us and I kindly accepted if we could use it. So we'll have a nice fire tonight. I was actually, my plans was to use my homemade propane fire pit tonight because we burnt the wood that I had yesterday or last night and since that was all the wood I had I thought well we'll just use my fire pit but since he so kindly gave us that firewood we we're just going to use the pit again tonight and then of course Sunday morning we're going to be heading back to the house We've had a great time. We really like this park. And like Ashley said, they're adding so much to it that it's just going to be the place to come. But you can see they come down here and cut this. But there are cypress stumps and stuff that you have to watch out for when you're walking it'll trip you up but the other campers also bring their dogs down here and I think they have a competition on who's going to pee on which spot this is also the spot that Ashley found uh, Bigfoot feet prints A gentleman had his kayak down here, his fishing kayak, so you have water access. Just a little walk from your camp. So come fit bank fish, but just come right out here and take in the view because it is just beautiful. And cypress trees again. Hopefully this thing's capturing the beauty. The sun's kind of right over the top of us. Pretty hilly if you look across the lake. It's pretty hilly over there. What do you think, dear? I think it's very pretty. All right, guys. Y'all have seen this section a few times. And... You've seen it one more time now, just with a different camera.
So this is Dogwood Nature Trail. Used to be a bird nest. But we are, there's a map of the trail. But we are going to take a quick walk down this trail a little bit and share a little bit of it with you. and checked out the lake view and I got some pictures that way and then the exit to this trail is on around this other way so just a real short walk to see the lake and the there's a sign this is the way we came from and then there's the sign. We started at the pool area. So we went this way. So we're, I would say this is the halfway mark. And there's a sign there that says exit this way. And you follow the white dots.
forever. Okay, so I've got the Coleman oven heating up on my little grill base. I took the top off and set it aside. And then I should have me take some chocolate chip cookie chunks. And then I've got a sugar cookie placed on top of them. Now, don't have a lot of room. Hopefully they don't get too much together. But we're going to try four and see how it works out. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have them in. Uh, middle shelf. If I can keep the door open. We'll see how they do. Got my little knob right when I shut that. And then over here on the picnic table, we have some chicken thighs on the grill. Did y'all see that? Chicken thighs. Won't be long, it'll be getting dark on us. And then, Still have a really pretty view over here. Got the fire going. I think Remy got cold because he jumped out of his chair to be on the ground. Yeah, the wife and the dog are enjoying the fire while I'm cooking, which I'm fixing to go grab a seat while that stuff cooks. Yeah, got a little bit of firewood. We'll have a pretty fire for a little bit. Anytime we burn that up, I guarantee you we're going to be ready to move inside anyway. Has some new neighbors move in over here. That's some big old campers come in. Pretty colors. Look out there. The sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. We'll attempt to come back on up on that and in a few minutes we'll come back and check them all right guys this is the first batch turned out pretty nice now to cook all the others and that'll be dessert tonight now let's go over here and check out the chicken I'm trying to turn it down low as i can right now uh, still at 350. Looks like they're doing chicken thighs, Cajun seasoning. So I'll turn the heat off on that and call that done.
kind of a nice little f- Well, hello and welcome to our campfire while we're at camp at North Toledo Bend State Park in Louisiana. And you will be seeing all kinds of pictures and who smokes right in my face. All kinds of pictures of the park. It's a really cool park and one that I highly recommend. We have had a fire going in the Fireside Outdoors pop-up pit, and this is pretty popular pit among campers and overlanders, and I really love it, and it takes up just a little bit of space, and it's very easy the way it's designed, the airflow, to get a fire going in it, so I'm really enjoying that. I just picked up some bear vlog mics. Because a lot of what we do, if I'm doing a review, I'm away from the, the phone, like we are now. And I went ahead and got the dual mics, that way Ashley can have one. So when we're, she's talking, you can hear what she's saying too. Because a lot of times I'll be recording and I'm right by the phone and you can hear me. But she says something about the topic and you can't hear her or you can barely hear her. So I'm hoping this will kind of help solve some of that problem. And that's if I just remember to make sure we both have them on and they're working. But this will be the first really sit down talking to the camera video we've done with them. And I may be coughing in it in a minute because I'm getting a lot of fire smoke. No, I'll edit this out. Anyway. But we uh, have been set up in the, supposed to be 2023. But the paperwork, I think, says 2022, uh, Rockwood pop-up ESP. It's a 1910 ESP, and we've camped in it over half a dozen times now and really haven't had any kind of issues with it, just some minor stuff, and uh, really enjoying it. Looks really cool hooked up behind our Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, too. We get a lot of compliments when we're in parks. People walking by and telling us how nice it is. Sure. The guy that gave us the firewood that I mentioned earlier, he uh, first thing he told me is after he said if we'd like the firewood, he said, that sure is a nice pop-up. And then I heard some people walking by, and as soon as they saw it, they started talking about it. So in, in a good way. <laughs> So we really like it. We had the Coleman, and it was on the small tires. It was a big one, though. It had king beds on both ends. I believe it was called a Timberlake. And back then, it was a really popular high-end uh, pop-up. Had the built-in shower and toilet and all that stuff. But uh, we took it to uh, Cass County Park one time. And to get to that park, it's a pretty, it's not gravel, but it's a really rough paved road. And by the time we got there, well, first off, I had to drive really slow because you could tell that camper was not liking that road. And then when we got there and I popped everything up, uh, we put all the small stuff in containers and then we stacked the containers. But that stuff had fallen off and cabinet doors had popped open. So it just was not made to go down a rough road. And... When I started seeing these off-road campers pop-ups, I was concerned that they'd do the same thing, even though they were bigger tires and, you know, more spring. But we've had this one down some pretty rough roads. In fact, we come down a gravel road. It wasn't too bad, but it was kind of rough coming here. Why Google brought us that way, I don't know, but it did. And we got here, the camper's fine, and pulled just as smooth as could uh, down that gravel road. So I'm glad we went ahead and went with the off-road 
package on a pop-up. And plus having those bigger tires, I'm not worried about burning through tires all the time, like them little tires. But I just thought I'd throw that in there if y'all are looking for a pop-up. Uh, I like the Rockwood ESP line. You can get this with built-in toilet and shower if you choose to. But like this campground, the, the bathrooms are just right over here. And they're really clean. They have showers and they're clean. Uh, the people here at the state park do a real good job. So it's not an issue just to hop over there and, and shower off if that's what you want to do. And we do keep a cassette toilet that this actually came with one and has a spot built for it to, to be. Uh, we don't use that one though because it's short and we, we used the one we already had. It's a lot taller off the ground, so it's easier to, to use. And sometimes, like last night, it was, what, 40, 42? It, it got down in the 40s. Pretty cold. You don't want to get out of your heated camper and walk across freezing to use the restroom when you can just pop the lid and use it right there. So some people have issue with that, but we are not those people. But it works out good. It's not an issue dumping it, and it's very clean process as long as you do the way you're supposed to do it. But enough on yucky stuff. <laughs> What's your favorite part about this park? Um, it's so this park is actually in progress, and even that being saying that, um, this campground is wonderful it's beautiful it's well maintained they even bush bush hog down to the water so that you can get to the water um they're putting in more trail systems and there's all kinds of growth potential here they're yet sorry they're yet there's still a lot of fun stuff to, to do. There is a 36 hole um, disc golf co course here, yeah. and it is beautiful. They are going to put in cornhole. Um, I guess the whole thing. I guess you rent the bags or get the bags from the office, but I overheard a lady talking about it, and they're going to have cornhole here too. That's um, pretty cool. And but so far, I have really enjoyed being able to walk down to the water. There was a trail that we were on yesterday evening, and I like to pay attention to the birds that are around us. I wouldn't call myself a bird watcher or a birder, but I do pay attention to birds. And I was noticing in these really tall pine trees that are around us that there were tons of little sparrows. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, but I was really enjoying watching them um seeing and flitter around and everything and then next thing i know i stumbled across an eagle's nest and there was actually an eagle sitting above it looking down i figure it was the, the male eagle and he was watching his babies it was but it was really cool it, i was so excited about her finding that that i've already put pictures on facebook and instagram i think so my issue is i have a Canon. E7 that I use, I, can't, I forgot what millimeter the lens is, whatever comes stock with it. And it's a good camera and takes really good pictures, but it doesn't have a real far zoom. So I, I'm going to have to invest in a better zoom lens to go on that camera because I, I was kicking myself for not having one when we found that eagle because it would have been just an awesome shot if I could just guide up in there to where the eagle was. So. Things like that take time. It's coming. But still, we did capture it. We do have pictures. You just got to look to really see it. When I get home on the computer, I'll see if I can't do a little work to it and draw it out some more. But it was beautiful. And I don't see a whole lot of eagles. We go, we've been down to Canton, Texas a lot. And there's, you know, eagles down there around where that flea market is and stuff. And I really just, other than there, I haven't seen many eagles. So that was really cool. I mean, it's, the trail is right behind us, and that nest, I bet, was every bit that big around in the top of that tree. I mean, you looked up the tree, and you just saw this huge nest, and 
I didn't know if it was Eagle Nest or maybe Sasquatch had started living in trees and <laughs> built his nest up in the tree. But then we saw the eagle and that confirmed that it was not Sasquatch. <laughs> so anyway, if, if y'all wanted to confirm that yourself, come pay this state park a visit and go find that nest. So I said, it's, it's, we're in spot 26. You go around the road and you can't miss the trail. There's a little pier that goes out in the water that this trail leads to, but that uh, nest is on that trail. So go check out the nest and maybe the eagle will be there. I had to let them know the information, you know, so you're basically just stating that you're insane. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real, guys, y'all need to come check this park out. If you haven't been to Toledo Bend, uh, there's several parks. There's north, which is where we're at. You go on south, and there's south side. And there's one in between that's really awesome. And I think we've been there just to drive through. But there was a great big old catfish as you entered the park. So that was pretty cool. So we got a lot of people leaving out of the park today. So bear with us. But the, but back to that catfish, I have determined. Um, I play P Pokemon Go, and I look at the mumsies and the geocaches around the areas we are in, and I have determined that that is a thing that they paint them. There is a town. It's I think it's pronounced Zola. Nearby us, we stopped at a dollar store there to pick up a, a few necessities. Um, there is one very close to their parking lot that um, is painted. And then we also went to Manny, Louisiana yesterday. And I actually, geocaching, there were Pokestops. And what a Pokestop is, is basically it's a landmark that you can get virtual items for for, for the game. But it's really cool because you can see stuff that you don't see every day or that when you're driving, you may miss. And I, we, I actually have a couple more from Manny, Louisiana. And I'm, I'm thinking that that's a thing here is the painted catfish. Yeah. Kind of like that place. What town was that in Oklahoma? That was the, were the cows? Um, we have been to, I think it's Poto, Oklahoma. Poto, Oklahoma. And there are the cows. Paint. And then somewhere near here in Louisiana, there are pigs that are done like that. They're little pigs. or They stand about this tall, but you run across them all over the town. So I think that's just kind of a landmark thing that a lot of towns do. But I'm thinking here is catfish. Yeah. And while we was getting, we, we ran in town to get some food and some refuel the Jeep. And while we was there in Manny is when we, she ran across a place called Fort Jessup. And I've already got a little bit about it uh, posted. As a, I think I did a short on YouTube. It's already up, but I'll include some of that information. If you're at this state park, it, that's the best place to go. If you need to restock for food, you need to go to McDonald's, you need to get gas. Uh, so nice, Manny's a nice town. And that fort was about, what, 10 minutes from Manny? Yes. Um, it was a six mile drive from the gas station where I was searching Google to see what was nearby. Um, so 10 minutes from the town and we were on the very edge of the town when we were at the gas station. Um, if you enjoy American history, if you enjoy, um, civil war battlefield kind of places, it is a good place to experience. Yeah, and it just so happened part of it was closed. Uh, it has, the main museum has an upstairs, but the upstairs is closed because some woodwork was uh, rotted on the steps to get up there. So that's in repair, so we didn't get to go up there. But it's big enough, there would have been quite a bit up there. But as you'll see by the pictures I post in this video, there was quite a bit to see. And like I said, if you're already up there getting food and gas, it's worth the stop by right there to check that out and it was four dollars each to get in but it was well worth it and if it'll help them keep fixing the place up and acquiring more stuff for their museum that's pretty cool so that's a place to put on the the books to see when you're in this part of the country
but and also we didn't do a lot of recording about the food and stuff we were eating and making and cooking because uh well one last night it was pretty dark when i got started and we did a 15 bean soup uh, that ashley had picked up the beans and uh kind of made our own recipe because we did it in the instapot and they turned out really good and i've said in some past videos that when you use that uh coleman oven if you take your griddle if you have a griddle like this pop-up came with the griddle and if you take the big iron cooking top off of it you set that coleman stove on top of the base and you can cook and you can control the oven just like your home oven uh, as long as you're watching it you won't burn the bottom of your cinnamon rolls and stuff like that but we used it to cook cornbread we brought the cornbread it was in a like a biscuit container and do some cheese and jalapeno on top of it and we used that to cook the cornbread rolls to go with the 15 bean soup so that was uh, supper last night and that was really good uh we just did sandwiches for lunch yesterday did though. sandwiches for lunch but i did use that grill or like a blackstone smoke <laughs> and to make them kind of like a grilled cheese melt the cheese and toast the, the bread so they were good and what else did we have? We've had sausage dogs since we've been here. We did some sausage dogs. And I've got some chicken thighs that I need to cook probably tonight. And I'm going to put them on the the grill, the regular grill, and cook those. But this smoke is killing me. So I think for now we're going to come to a stop. We'll talk to y'all a little later on when my eyes ain't burning. <laughs> Well, we are slowly packing up. We got rain last night, so everything's wet. But the sun's up, so it won't take long to dry out the pop-up. But we will start working with all of our little stuff, and getting it where it needs to go. It's gonna be a pretty morning. It's gonna get quite as warm today as it has been. In fact, we got a cold front coming in. It's windy, all them leaves falling. Help dry things out though. Really enjoyed our time. Looking forward to coming back again. I actually think next time we're gonna go south to Toledo Bin and see what that is all about. But anyway, uh, I won't be recording a lot of us packing up. It's not the fun part, but uh, had a great time. Really enjoyed this campground. Hope y'all enjoy it too. I hope you can get a chance to come up here and check it out yourself. Have a great day. Well, this is our last day to see the lake. We're headed out right now. Our last view. Like I said, beautiful area. Rained a little bit last night. Maybe some more coming in, I don't know. But we're headed to Texarkana.